Hi everyone, welcome to Module 5. <clears throat> For Module 5, we're going to be focused on the role of monetary policies. Monetary policy is controlled by the Fed. And the Fed has three main goals of our economy. And the three main goals of the economy of the or the three main goals of the Fed are to control the level of inflation or price stability, economic growth, and job creation. Those are the three main goals of the Fed. When we look at this week, you'll notice that the Fed is being graded on how they do on those particular goals. So that's very important to evaluate. So the learning objectives that we're going to be looking at this week, define monetary policy in the Fed and how they use monetary policy goals, explain contractionary and expansionary monetary policy. So ex when we look at expansionary and contractionary monetary policy, you'll notice that the Fed can influence the economy by the money supply. So when the Fed decides to buy bonds, when the Fed buys bonds, <clears throat> the Fed is actually increasing the money supply, which causes interest rates to decrease. This will be classified as expansionary policy because a higher uh, inc or increase in money supply and the lower interest rate, that's an expansionary policy for an economy. When you look at contractionary policies, this is going to be resulted in higher interest rates. And when interest rates are higher, this will change the demand by consumers. And this will cause a lot of changes in the markets that we focus on. <clears throat> the other thing we're going to look at is constructing an ADSRAS model and show the effects of monetary policy. So from what we just discussed, when we look at expansionary monetary policy by lower interest rates, expansionary monetary policy will cause interest rates to decrease, which will mean aggregate demand will increase. And that's the key. Aggregate demand increases. When we look at contractionary policies, aggregate demand will decrease because of the higher interest rates that the Fed caused. We're also going to be looking at ex uh, ex uh, expectations of inflation and how expectations of inflation will change decisions that the Fed have to make. That's very important to evaluate. Feds are very keen in our economy and their changes on inflation expectations can help make decisions within markets. For this week you're going to be reading chapters 15 and 17. Chapter 15 is going to be looking at the role of monetary policy and how the Fed uses uh, the level of interest rates to control their targets and their goals. Chapter 17 is going to be looking at the Phillips curve. And the Phillips curve is going to be directly concerned about the relationship between unemployment and the inflation rate. And you'll notice that monetary policy is used to control inflation. And when we look at monetary policy, they're directly concerned about the level of interest rates in our economy. And that's something we have to really keep in, key in on. You're going to have the MyEcon Lab 5 homework. And then we want to go to the Milestone 3 and review what's contained for Milestone 3. Let me go to the Course Information thing tab here. This is very important to do. Assignment Guideline and Rubrics. Milestone 3. Okay, you're going to do the following in your 10 year cycle that you selected or if you want to do a new cycle, examine monetary policies that were at the start of your specific time period and why those policies were enacted. Then analyze new monetary policy actions that were undertaken throughout the period. So if the economy experienced a recession, you'll notice when there is a recession 
that the economy needed to do expansionary policies. If the economy experienced uh, uh, too much inflation, contractionary policies would have to be used. Then you want to explain the impact of the new monetary policy actions on individuals and businesses. So how do these policies, expansionary and contractionary, contractionary influence monetary policy and how it influences uh, the decisions that the Fed has to make? I'm going to be looking for three to five slides, which does not include your title or reference page. You need to include detailed speaker notes to accompany the slides, and the, supply, the slides need to be in APA format. So what I'm really looking for you to do is have clear information on the slides, because a lot of you are putting too much information on the slides, which is creating a lot of uh, challenges. You want to put clear information on the slides. And you want to make sure that your information on the slides are relevant. And when you have the detailed uh, aspect of the slides, that's where you put your information. And that's where your content should go. Don't put so much of your content on the slides and the use of paragraphs. You're going to be graded 30% is on how you evaluate the monetary policies, 30% on policy actions, 30% on impact and 10% on articulation. Now if you need any help or if you'd like me to review your work, please let me know and submit it to me through email as I look forward to your efforts.